Hello Bakers! Recently I went scanning some assets and I scanned this part of a wall and this wall that I wanted to scan was in not a perfect light conditions so the upper side was in shadow but here the lower side it was, was already in direct sunlight so I was not able to scan it but anyway I really liked it and uh, I didn't know if I'm going to visit this place one more time so uh, I took the pictures and I wanted to show you a few ways that you can create after that the rest of the wall. So first one is going to be a little bit of a cheating, so it's something that if you really need to do something fast and you don't have a lot of time, it's the way to go, but if you have more time, I will strongly recommend you to wait a little bit longer in the video and see the second method. So if you don't have the time to do it, what I will do is to just use symmetry. So we could just select the part of the wall that we would want. For example, we can get just this part. After that, I'm just going to detach it and I'm going to hide the rest of the wall. And now we are just going to go and grab symmetry. And then we can make it a little bit longer. We can just modify where exactly we want our symmetry to be applied. And as well on top, we can put another symmetry modifier. If we want to make it longer, we just need to make it on a different axis. And after that, just edit where exactly we want our symmetry to be starting. So you can see that we already created uh, very quickly a piece of wall. So this is not a perfect method because as you can see, you can see the symmetry, but if you're really in a hurry and you after that are going to put some lights around here and uh, just able to hide parts of it and you're not really going to see and look uh, directly into the wall, it's a very quick and easy way to do it as well. I just want to show you my mesh here. You can see that it's a pretty dense mesh. So this is directly the scanned data. I just applied a couple of symmetries and we already have a wall. If you're going to use it for rendering and you really are in a hurry, this is the way to go. Now let me show you another way to do it by using one of the new features inside 3ds Max 2021. The second method is also more friendly if you want to use it for games. We are going to create a tileable texture from just this segment over here. I created a plane on top of it and the first thing that we are going to do is again go to render to texture, enable our projection and pick our ceiling. I'm again going to use an existing channel for our UVs for the plane and down here for the output maps I'm again going to bake Arnold Albedo. I'll choose 1K resolution and now we are ready to render it. Now that we have our texture rendered, I'm just going to save it. And now what we're gonna do, I'm just going to apply the texture to our plane. And after that, I'll show you a trick how to do it tileable inside 3ds Max. It's a feature that has been implemented in the recent versions of Max. And it's something which is very cool and very awesome because you are able to edit your textures and end result directly inside the software without leaving it. Now that we have just our plane in the scene, I'm going to open our material editor and here on the search I'm going to type random. You can see that there is a bitmap random tiling. I'm just going to drag and drop it into the scene and once I do this it's going to open our browser and search for the texture that I just baked. Now that I have the texture loaded I'm just going to grab a PBR material and I'm going to connect our RGB to our base color and now I will assign everything to our plane. You can see that at the moment we have our texture being scattered around, but this is something that here from the tiling options we can actually play with and also change it a lot so that we get different results. First I'm going to edit the overall scale, so I'll just bring it back to 0.7. Now you can see that the texture became a lot bigger. Now to get a better result, first thing that I'm going to do is change our wrap mode. From periodic, I'm going to change it to mirror, so you can see that this way it already mirrored our texture on the side, so we have everything tiled properly. And after that, from random seat, we can choose something which fits our purposes. In my case, I think that seat number two looks pretty good, and we need just to test it. So I'm going to put a UVW map modifier. And after that, scale it to see how exactly it's being tiled. 
Now that we have our setup done, here you can see that very quickly and easily we can change the random seat for the different walls that we have in our scene. Thank you for joining me in today's video. Leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. See you next time.